from him earlier in practice, Phil. We thought he had scraped the wall. I actually had to go ask him if he did, and he said, no, we just got up there high. He really wants to get up there near the wall, but, you know, this track is so new for a guy like him that he's not really sure where he can flirt with it. Uh-oh, that's not good. Electrical fire in the top. That's of Parker 15. Chase. Um, I don't think that's good, my man. Bring it down here to us, but he's going to make one more lap here. That's a good old-fashioned electrical fire catching that carbon fiber. Yeah, oh, no. Fire. It's melting the carbon fiber, so obviously that's how, it, uh, that's how it mounts. I'm going to say that they did not intend that for that to happen. No, I'm sure they didn't. They said the Venturini cars, they had their work cut out for them in practice. Meanwhile... We got a car slowed in the front. Josh White in that 03 looks like an engine. Oh, right front down. So a few different incidents going on here. We caught a glimpse of Nick Sanchez. I mean, I'm excuse me, Raja Karuth actually taking the lead from Brandon Jones. <laughs> what? And damage on the 43, Daniel Dye. I don't know where what to look. What just happened? I don't know where to look. I wonder if Daniel saw the caution or a spotter told him about the caution. He backed off and maybe somebody ran into the back of him that didn't get the word quick enough. Holy moly, we got cars on fire, back bumpers flying all over the racetrack, cars in the fence, and it's only lap four. All right, the good news is Parker Chase has been able to bring it down pit road. As you see, I'm still touching. Look at the Bounty logo just melted off there. Will he take it straight to the garage? No, he's going to bring it right four, into his pit box. Well, some, when something like that happens, Phil, and come in here, I think that's usually when a bad ground or some two, two wires are rubbing when they're not supposed to rub. Exactly. And that's what happened there. We, we're going to see these guys jump in here, try to pull that fire out, fire out one. And maybe if they're really lucky, it doesn't burn any important wires. But I don't think there's any of them in there that aren't important. Yeah. I just hope it wasn't in-car camera wire. Yeah, I think it, it, it was still <laughs> running, though. That's the key when, when he came to pit road. So. Oh, man, it's still on fire. They're working on it. But, oh, man. <laughs> My. I've never seen something like this. Neither have I. And, Looks and, like the dash and was me, loose, though. Well, because it burnt the connector to the to the dash bar yeah. there. And let me tell you guys, you can't. If there was a scratch and sniff on your on your TV screen, it would smell terrible. The smell of burnt carbon fiber will stay in your nose for a week. And, and burnt wires as well. Oh, for sure. They're not having a good time and down in the 15 pit area. 43 guys just pulled down in their pit box as well. I don't know what ARCA policies are with the rear bumper if they need one attached because. There's, that could be a positive, Phil, because there's a lot of downforce uh, to be made if that back bumper uh, is off, if the quarter panels are still intact. So I'm interested to see what they're going to make them do there. So when all that was going on, Raja Karuth got around Brandon Jones right about the time that the caution came out. So he's leading right now, showed first. And the 81 of Brandon Jones moved back to second. Nick Sanchez. So the 43 of Daniel Dye has now shifted down to 10th, and he's in his pit box. There's a lot of damage. You guys know that he got up high early. We're getting a report that the ARC officials do not require a rear bumper, so should, he should be able to get that car back on the racetrack. He's going to drop the jack. He will stay on the lead lap, so good news for Daniel Dye. We saw him get two laps down at Kansas last time out, and they keep, he got both those laps back and end up with a top-five finish. There's a lot.